Welcome back okay. to another edition of Raw is Retro. <laughs> <laughs> it's 21st of April 2023. We're covering the 19th of April 1999's episode of Raw. I'm Lord Manny Hayes. Filling in for Ross, who's still on assignment, is that guy right there. He's that guy! That guy! Hey, that's me! Why is the grand finale? <laughs> hey. And we're also joined by this guy right down here. One. Two, three faces of Jamal. You already know. Uh, you can't you can't start counting like that with that hat on, otherwise I'm thinking you're gonna be doing the uh, Lou Bega. My phone number five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, three, four five. five. Uh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. A little bit of in my life. A little bit. By the way, on the side. In the month of April. Undertaker Steve song. <laughs> a little, a little bit of Ryan in my life. A little bit of Deborah in my life. A little bit of Stephanie in my life. A <laughs> little bit of Sable. That's all right. <laughs> uh, so this episode of Raw comes from the Van Andel Arena in Grand Rapids, Ooh. Michigan. Does Ooh. this still exist? They got yes. rid of Joe Lewis. This one gotta go. Is, You're wrong again, a... Marcus. Uh, and the uh, arena still exists. Reaper how can they get rid of? Oh, how can they get rid of that? How can they get rid of Joe Louis arenas, but not this one? <laughs> we on fire up in. No respect for Joe Lewis. <laughs> uh, so this episode of Raw kicks off with Rock driving a hearse into the arena because he. <laughs> Buried the title last week. This week is going to be a funeral with The Rock delivering the eulogy. We even have a casket, flowers, and a big mound of dirt. Rock climbs onto the mound while guaranteeing to show that he's the best champion ever on Sunday. Simple stuff here. <laughs> at WrestleMania, at WrestleMania Backland. By the way, The Rock spent a lot of money today on just setting up this eulogy. Like, I wish someone spends as much money on my funeral as The Rock spent on a Steve Austin's phony funeral that he was gonna throw for. Gotta, that gotta, he knew was phony. You got, you got to understand. As a kid, I really thought this man killed Stone Cold, so it just almost dang near confirmed it because he was doing. That. <laughs> I, I like, wish someone said. Really I wish someone said down Jamal. That's not how murder works. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to murder anybody and then give their funeral a week later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we start. We kick off with Owen. Owen Hart versus Road Dog. Um, well, there was a stipulation here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If Road Dog Very wins, well, this gets thing. to see puppies for the first time. <laughs> That term has ever been used. <laughs> so basically, Road Dog won this match, dog. <laughs> he hit the yeah, but he won, slam. but then he didn't get anything out of it. Yeah, no, no one paid up. Jeff Jarrett came out and blocked blocked it with the with the guitar and all that stuff. Yeah, this is one of many. Well, I'm learning that Deborah debts that have not been paid. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, she needs to be on the streets with the Godfather too in a week. <laughs> Undertaker sends the acolytes to take out the take care of the brood. The Rock is backstage practicing his eulogy. Then we get a brood buddy versus the acolytes. Um, but this just ends up in DQ again. <coughs> yeah, I don't even know why we talk about what the results of the match is going to be because you can just guess it. How did this match end? DQ. DQ. <laughs> Undertaker. You have me over livid. other DQs inside here. Undertaker is mad because the acolytes did not get a pin. Uh, <laughs> Now we got the Intercontinental title. We got the Godfather taking on Hardcore Holly. Why is Hardcore Holly getting going for two belts? I don't know. He's trying to be like Becky two belts or whoever. But I'm not, I, I was I was flabbergasted why the Undertaker was so upset with the acolytes. Uh, uh, when he was like, "God damn it!" in the back, just tearing shit up. <laughs> well, we supposed to win. We supposed to win. He's I don't know why he cares so much. He's on he's on a different rampage at this moment in time. Yeah. And then, like, Farouk and uh, Bradshaw come to the back and was like, yeah, you know, it happens, you know. And then they just get attacked. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, my punishment. Life. Yeah, punishment. <laughs> um, so, in the meantime, uh, Vince, Vince and Stephanie are, are at a TV studio um, about to conduct an interview. <laughs> and then just really weird is seeing Undertaker talk normally on the phone to Midian, telling him not to <laughs> fail. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, don't fail. Don't this let me down. This is luck. <laughs> How you then doing? We get, then we get Ken Shamrock versus the big boss bring, man. Bring me some Jack in the Box food. We can wait back. I said Jack <laughs> in the Box. Sound. I said Jack in the Box, not Jack Daniels. Even though I need God that. damn it! God damn it, this is a Hardee's! This is a Hardee's! <laughs> they don't have Jack in the Box on the East Coast. Give me that! Um, Ken Shamrock defeats the big boss man by hit, hitting a hurricane runner and a belly 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 to belly out of nowhere for the pin. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> then Undertaker immediately pops up and says he knows where Ryan Shamrock is. Even knowing her. Oh, that was this week. I got to mix it up. runs to the back. <laughs> oh, I got I got to mix it up. Ken Shamrock is a damn fool, by the way. Why Why is Ryan Shamrock a traveling with him? We know where the Undertaker is going to be on a weekly, one day out of the week, and that's Monday. One Monday, he's going to be wherever Raw is. I would suggest not having Ryan Sherrock in that town that week. Just say, <laughs> haven't she been through enough, Ken? Haven't she been through enough? Then we get Mankind uh, versus Triple H. And guess what finish this was? DQ! <laughs> clutch. It's clutch. <laughs> Didn't see, it Didn't see it coming. Didn't see it Don't quit. <laughs> Post match, Corporation comes out to attack Mankind, but Big Show makes a save. He hits a huge choke slam on Test to send everyone running. Mankind grabs the microphone and he says, "Thank you very much," but they'll still meet in the boiler room on Sunday. <laughs> Backlash on the way. <sighs> the Rock is on the phone in the parking lot and says his car costs forty thousand dollars. That doesn't even sound like a lot. <laughs> For that. that don't even sound like a lot these days. Hey, wait! In 1999, that was some people's. That was someone in uh, yearly salary, right there. Forty thousand, dog. That's yo. Damn, that, that was my Lincoln Continental. I would have I forget to. It. I would have to go on deployment like seven times to get that. <laughs> so it's expensive. But here's my thing about the Rock. Did he drive here in this car? I mean, like, what? Why did he have his real car here and not just a rental? Very because he's in Michigan. Tonight. Maybe you he clearly, wanted to drive. You clearly don't watch Young Rock. He's living the gimmick. Damn it! <laughs> he's, yeah. gimmick. he's doing what Rocky Johnson told him to do. <laughs> Live the gimmick. Damn. We move into Billy Gunn versus Jeff Jarrett. Lessons from Young Rock. Um, Billy Gunn uh, drops his tights and then hits a famous throw on Jeff Jarrett but Owen comes in for the DQ <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of wrestling matches we just go to the next DQ Deborah this tries to take off her jacket to cover best. up to, to, to fulfill the promise of the opening match um, but they pay your is- debts Jeff Jarrett covers her bra with the guitar. Um, the Rock refuses to give an interview to WWF, WWF, WWF.com and tells the interviewer to go get him some fruit. <laughs> these notes are terrible. I should have just I should have had spent more time on these. Yeah, yeah but these are facts, man. These are facts. Yeah, Viscera versus Big Show. This happened. <laughs> Big man. <laughs> This was actually a, a, a decent big man versus big man match if you look at it. <laughs> but then, of course, <laughs> of course, you know how it fucking ends. <laughs> we, got a, we got a great epic 20-minute bout that went back and forth with a memorable moments, and, a, and we had a finish. And I can't believe Big Show beat Mr. Clean in the middle of the ring. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no. It, yeah. it ended in a no contest. <laughs> <laughs> Undertaker and Paul Bearer come to the ring, and we get the real showdown with mid, Big Show. They match. slug it out, yeah, and mid, both mid. try choke slams, but Viscera gets back up for a double team. Big Show won't get, still won't go down, but Undertaker punches him until down to one knee. Und- <laughs> Mankind comes out to even things up, but Undertaker leaves Viscera alone. Big Show super kicks Viscera to the floor. <laughs> yes, you read that right. You heard it right. Super, Super kick, kick party! Him. No leg slap. No leg slap. No, he no leg slap. He straight got to work on that. Wow! He dropped like a sack of potatoes. So we go to Giant Connecticut for a sit-down interview with Michael Cole between Vince and Stephanie. 
Vince says he's be, always been proud of Shane, but he wasn't always there for him, much like m- much like Dominic Mysterio and Rey Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> Shane missed a lot as well because Vince wasn't there, but Vince wasn't yeah, proud last me. week. Stephanie can't believe what Shane has done recently, but knows that the only person that can keep her safe is Vince. Security interrupts the interview and says something is going on in the parking lot where Vince decides He's going to run <laughs> Vince tells the guards to stay there with Stephanie and goes after whoever is in the parking lot. It turns out to be Midian. And Vince, beats, Vince, Vince weirdly beats up Midian. Yes! <laughs> At this moment, you realize you're Midian and you're going like, damn, I'm fired. <laughs> like, hey, don't, you don't give a fuck about me because... What he was like, you stay with them. I shot son. We're gonna take me to the sub bit. Take me to it. Take me, take me now. He came, he came to work and then uh, uh, continues to commit murder, attempted murder by backing the car up to Minnie, where Minnie gets out the way and then gets to work again for Vince and then drives away. Damn it, damn it. We're the cops. Where the cops at? And then the worst move, the worst segue is moving on to Val Venus claiming he solved the Y2K problem. All the ladies have to do oh is boy. add a few extra bites of RAM from his hard drive and everything will be fine. This brings up this Sable. This clearly doesn't know how to use computers. <laughs> this brings up Sable who says that's nice, but she's got bigger news. In two weeks, she'll be shooting a second Playboy <laughs> pictorial. <laughs> This brings out Ivory and D'Lo Brown and a double ball <laughs> is on for no apparent reason. Now Sable's bodyguard, Nicole Bass, comes out to destroy Ivory with a choke slam, and then uh, Val seems to have eyes on Sable. Yes. Well, no, Val has eyes for Sable, but Nicole Bass has eyes for Val. <laughs> she, she wants, she she wants the big hell, Val Bosky. She was brawling as hell, boy. Probably <laughs> <in> China. <laughs> Damn. So, this this happens. This is a lot scarier. And by the way, Sable is not defending her women's championship ever again. Oh, she attempted God. to defend it last week, but Nicole Bass had made it end in a no contest. Man, that was clearly not an attempt when Nicole Bass, all her orders, attacked everybody. That was clearly, <laughs> she does not plan on wrestling. Uh, it's time for The Rock to deliver the eulogy for Austin. Rock sets the tone with dearly trail. Trailer park trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Rock isn't sure if a Rudy Poo like Steve Austin will fit in a casket. Rudy Poo. Before we get the real point of this, Rock opens up, opens his jacket to reveal the smoke and skull belt. He runs his mouth about backlash a bit until you hear an engine revving. We go outside and it's Austin in the 316 monster truck and he goes over the Rock's terrible forty thousand dollar car. <laughs> Yo, he won <laughs> that thing over, dog. It was like, dang, well, all that money wasted. What there's a lot of things that went wrong here. The guy, is this the Rock's car? Yeah. The key's in there? Yeah. He doesn't want you touching it, though. I bet he don't. What do you mean? Stop him! <laughs> Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> well, you what would you rather do? Take an ass whipping from Stone Cold Steve Austin, just let him do whatever he wants to do. Oh, I'll also let him do whatever he wants because yeah. I want to see what he's gonna do. He clearly brought this monster truck for a reason. <laughs> uh, he's but... revving that shit up, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." So off, <laughs> because it was Steve it. Austin doing that. Like I was like, you know, you think it'd be a stunt driver, but nah, <laughs> that shit looked unsafe and everything. Austin drives his drive, then then died drives the truck into the arena, and beers are consumed back. Into the truck and Austin runs over the hearse before the fight is on. <laughs> Rock barely, <laughs> <laughs> Rock barely gets into gets in a single shot before Austin nails him with the belt to send the Rock into the grave. Austin poses with the title, but Shane comes in. Remember that he's the referee on Sunday and breaks a yeah. shovel on Steve Austin's head to end the show. Yo, he cracked that man with that. Yeah. Now nah, it's still not better than that time Austin. Nailed the Undertaker with that one. Yeah. <laughs> was the... I felt like I was playing SmackDown versus Raw 2007. <laughs> yeah, cracked in the past freaking show. Um, well, I, I, I honestly don't re- didn't see the shade hitting the Austin with the thing. I thought it was gonna end with Austin like, "Yeah, I'm awesome. Everything's great." But nah, nah. 
shaving <laughs> on the title. The ti- and the symbolic the symbolism of the title is in shaving man's and the balance of his hands and backlash. Oh. Man. And, and this is the era that people said was the absolute best era. Like, you know, this was this is the era of storytelling at its finest, but <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 there's some tough storytelling here, but I definitely questionable things here. I will also add: this is not the era of wrestling matches either, where we have five star classics. Again, Road <laughs> Dog, you were not buried in Bret the Hitman Hart. I, Your matches ended in all DQ. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I remember more of the Road Dog than I do Bret Hart. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. <laughs> You wasn't watching WCW Bret Hart though. You were watching WWE. <laughs> no one was watching WCW Bret Hart. Clearly, everyone that watched Malcolm in the Middle watched some WCW Bret Hart. <laughs> I tell you what, what's the main thing I remember about Bret Hart? <laughs> telling Hogan, <laughs> telling Hogan at WrestleMania Nine to go face go Oh uh, you know when I, for America. Hart, when I think of Bret Hart, I just think of uh, Bill Goldberg paraly- almost paralyzing him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bill Goldberg kicked me in the head in my career. I watched that match Piece live, and I was just like, damn, that's crazy. Like, I was really concerned about his health. <laughs> so, um, who's your MVP of the night? MVP uh, of the I'm- night? This one's a tough one. <laughs> no, I've still got. I, 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 I still got. I... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find the way. Yeah, is, it, is, this, little... is this month? It's his month. Didn't, he didn't do anything significant except yell at the acolytes and be on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the phone. He had to say a flip phone. This provokes flip-ball. actions to next week. <laughs> I felt like that goes against his religion or whatever he was about. And his cult leader, I have a flip phone though. So, Marcus, have you had? Oh, I'm going with Steve Austin for running over the Rocks, Lincoln Continental, and the Hurts. It costing him a lot of money. Well, I'm actually going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go with the oh. Rock for taking that beating, number one. First of all, the eulogy was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the trailer trash. <laughs> was crazy. But then he still took the beating. So, like, you know, but the Rock gets the note for me. And then moment of the night. Austin running over the guy taking his the 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 forty thousand dollar car coming in. See, Freaking. you would think you, that seems like the moment of the night, big spectacle moment with Steve Austin, The Rock, and all that. Now, Vince McMahon in the TV yes! studio. <laughs> Vince McMahon in the TV studio. You you think yeah, it's happening? Take me to the son of a bitch. Take me to the son of a bitch. <laughs> then proceeds to Almost put that bleeding. Almost yeah. murdering Minnie. Yeah. Almost <laughs> murdering Minnie. Put that work in. You can almost see where Minnie. Shane gets his bad punches from. Yeah. <laughs> and then Minnie and driving off into the night, scared of his life. <laughs> take, me the- take, take me to the son of a bitch. Take me. Because that, that's kind of a meme everywhere. I've seen that for many occurrences. <laughs> um, Triple H is taking the company. Take me to the son of a bitch. Take, take me. me. Um, so basically we got backlash to cover um so we have a few um heat matches val venus and nicole bass defeated d'lo brown and ivory i don't know why that's even up for anyone that match went on for one minute and 43 seconds (laughs) that's as long as the boss man in the hose (laughs) <laughs> Prince Albert and Droz defeated uh, Too Much, Scott Taylor and Brian Christopher in one minute and nine seconds. So <laughs> too, much, too Much ends up being too, too cool, cool for those that don't know. Yeah, yeah uh, and uh, I will also say that was too little <laughs> for the <laughs> of that. Uh, Kane defeated the big boss man who was with Tess. That went on for a whopping two minutes and 45 seconds. Chokeslam. <laughs> Boom. Viscera defeated Test with the big boss man in two minutes and nine seconds. So if this was a beat the clock, um, Test Test loses because he lost in the <laughs> <laughs> lost in quicker time. Can I also say I would like, even though these matches are one minute, two minutes, or whatnot, at least they actually have finishes. There's winners and losers. <laughs> so let's uh, go the Ministry of winning. Darkness, Farouk, Bradshaw, and the freshly escaped Midian defeated the Brood, Gangrel, Edge, and Christian. 
<laughs> in 11 minutes. <laughs> hey, classic. Uh, Al Snow defeated our hardcore Holly for the hardcore title in 15 minutes and 27 seconds. <laughs> what? That gets so much time. They, 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 they dragged it. They fucking dragged it. Uh, the Godfather defeated Gold Dust in five minutes. The hardcore title get fifteen minutes, and the IC title get five. Hard times, hard times, hey. Hard times. We got to have the hardcore title now. Hard the new, times. the New Age Outlaws defeated Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett to determine that they are the number one contenders uh, for the tag team titles. Mankind defeated Big Show in the Boiler and Brawl. Triple H defeated X Pac. In 20 minutes, Undertaker oh. defeated Ken Shamrock. They had a, they had a banger? Wow. Yeah, they, I'm going to watch that they, shit. They went 20 uh, minutes, And then huh? Steve Austin defeated The Rock in a no hold barred match. Uh, with Shane causing the mishap, leading leading to, <laughs> leading to everything. Yeah, Terrible so punches. at least the Shane and double middle fingers and... You know, and all that. There's, a, there's an attack, and then Vince comes out there, and unlike Rey Mysterio, did take a year to punch the shit out of his son. He got he got that shit right out of his sister, right off the jump. But this only led to the Undertaker, who Stephanie was wondering, why are we leaving it without my dad? I don't think we should be leaving it without my dad. Where to, Stephanie? No! <laughs> Stephanie! Show in. Which is- <laughs> Which is a good hook for me to go watch Raw the next night. I'm just saying, that's a hook. <laughs> like, oh, what happened? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, that concludes another edition of Raw is Retro. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Uh, make sure you check out the SoundCloud of Free Faces <laughs> Jamal for the Midcard Mess podcast. And check out all our other nonsense across the week. <laughs> Why are you voguing again? <laughs> And then doing the Macarena. You're lost in your dances. You're lost in your dances. <laughs> Whatever, ready? Whatever. <laughs> we'll get it together. I get it together. I think we so should maybe just end it doing there. The <laughs> I think we hey, should just end it the, there. You got to do the Days Go By video. Days Go By. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about the Monster commercial? <laughs> With Not that. the Monster commercial. The, uh... God damn it, I always mix up the car. But yeah. <laughs> when Dave Chappelle say, Mitch, get out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, and then I'll leave one other thing to do. Bye! Bye.